What you cooking? Oh, you know what we're gonna do today, y'all? We're gonna fire up the grill. Yes, and we're starting with a grilled radicchio and walnut salad. Awesome grilled salad, y'all. This is delicious. Next, it's grilled artichokes with a bacon rosemary dip. Oh, my goodness. Then it's one magnificent main course, y'all. Tuna steaks with lemon pepper butter. Is this not, like, fit for a king? This is awesome. And for dessert, cream scones with orange cream. We ain't messing around here today. Today is one of my favorite shows because we're working on the grill. We're firing up the grill, Mom, and we're grilling inside. So no matter what time of year, you can always enjoy the flavor of a smoky, charred goodness. And we're going to start oh with vegetables today. Look what Jamie has got artichokes. over here. One of my favorite foods in the world. Y'all, it's grilled artichokes with a bacon rosemary dip. First thing I want you to do is cut mm -hmm. these in half, and you're going to take the choke out of the inside. Okay. okay? Uh, now, you've already cooked these. I have. And trim the prickly parts off the outside. You can go to foodnetwork.com and see how to prepare that artichoke to this stage, y'all. Yep. So here we go. Y'all see when you get into the center of it, it's kind of hairy, it looks uh -huh. kind of fuzzy. It's yeah. the bottom. See right okay. here, Mom? Scallop yeah. that out with your knife and pull out that. And the inside, okay. you, the, there's some purple leaves. and It's real pretty, but really okay. not good to eat. So okay. pull all that stuff out. I'm just going to put a little bit of spray on our on our Look grill there, that we're doing Jamie, inside. I did it. Good job, Mom. Look all the all the hairy little fuzz. Super. Only five more to go. Okay. While Mom's doing that, I love to grill and I love salad. So today we're going to combine those two things. I'm doing a grilled radicchio okay. salad today. For our radicchio, y'all, I'm going to cut this the same way that Mom cut hers, and I'm going to leave just enough on the bottom here so you can see that my leaves don't don't fall apart. A little bit of olive oil, and this is going straight down on the grill. and I'm gonna chop it up after it cooks. All right, so y'all, I have had to cut this two or three times to get all those hair-like fibers out. And you wanna really take care to get that stuff out of there. If you eat that, you may never eat another artichoke. <laughs> okay, and Mom, we're gonna have a real simple dressing for our radicchio salad today. I've got okay. a, a white wine, mm, white wine vinegar, and I'm gonna use three tablespoons. Two, three. And to my three tablespoons right here, y'all, this is the honey is gonna be the sweetness in the salad dressing. Y'all know I love sweet. So I'm probably gonna put a good tablespoon in here. Now I've got two tablespoons of olive oil that I'm gonna add and just give this a turn. Mama, can I help you with those artichokes? Two is better than one. Teamwork, Mom. Yes. Look at that, I did it in two scoops. Good one. Bet you can't do it in two scoops. Yeah, these look great. Okay, there you go. All right, you want some orange zest? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on these. I've got actually two jobs for you. I need the zest from one, and I need you to section the other one for me. Okay. I'm gonna roll these radicchios Well, son, over. I love you to pieces, and I'm so glad you're here in the kitchen with me today. Well, I appreciate you having me. Now, Mom, I need a teaspoon of that orange zest. And if you would, Mom, let's section those out and okay. kind of take a quarter and cut it into thirds. I'm going to take our lettuce off, Mom, and I'm not going to do this fine at all. I'm going to leave it mm -hmm. pretty big and chunky. See, I'm just going to kind of do it in thirds. Okay. Now, I'm going to oh take... Oh, my gosh, Jamie. I'm going to take a little care to... All right, now, how much orange do you want? Look at this. Uh, just a little bit more than that, Mom. Now, I'm going to cut my bottoms out. Mm-hmm. Can't take her anywhere, y'all. Gosh, that's good. So these kind of, so it kind of falls apart a little bit. What kept it together is now coming out. This orange is delicious. This is a big old navel orange, y'all, that I'm using. Mmm. And the reason they call it a navel, you can see the little navel right there in the top of the orange. These are beautiful. Great job on the artichokes, Mom. Yes, they are beautiful. Okay, you think that's enough? This is good. Now, if you'll chop those walnuts up for me. Okay. And how many nuts do you have? Uh, about a cup. A little bit of salt and pepper in here. Uh-huh. How fine do you want your nuts, son? You don't have to chop them up too fine. Okay. So about like that? That was great. And you want to toss them in here? Yep. That looks very, very good, son. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I'm gonna taste this, let me see. Ooh, that's so good. Is it? It's pretty good, huh? Mm, 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 mm. Just gonna toss this real lightly. Oops. Look how beautiful this is, Mom. I love radicchio. Okay, Mom, All right, let's, son. let's clean this up a little bit. Okay. And put it in a nice bowl. Okay. We're gonna start our meal off like any Looks civilized person would. so, so good. With a little salad. This is perfect for summer. Mm-hmm. Or any time, you know, yeah. radicchio. You can find most any time, and you can put it on your grill inside the house, and it's so mm -hmm. beautiful. And it's got so many different flavors in it. Yum. The sweetness of the orange and mm -hmm. the radicchio, that, that earthy flavor, mm -hmm. and then the crunch of mm -hmm. the nuts. Perfect, son. Let's have a taste, Mom. Okay. Because our artichokes are getting ready. I'm going to get in there and get those nuts. Mm. The salt with the oranges just bring it out, doesn't it? Awesome grilled salad, y'all. This is delicious. And it's only going to get better. When we come back, we're going to make a dip. We got a bacon rosemary dip coming up for our artichoke. Look, look how big a bite he takes. Look. Got a big mouth. Coming up, this dip takes our artichokes, slam over the top. Mm-mm. Yummy, Jamie. Then we cheer on our grilled tuna. What you think? And later, we're even grilling up our dessert. The strawberries coming off the grill are so good, y'all. Oh, Jamie. Mm-hmm. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Okay, y'all, we've got our beautiful artichokes. Now, we grilled them for about five minutes on each side. Now, all we need is a sauce, Mom, and I want you to mm -hmm. help me. Okay. This is so simple. It's a cup of mayonnaise, and we're going to use a quarter of a cup, Mom, of that sour cream. Okay. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of fresh rosemary, and this is so easy to grow at the house. It's super simple and really versatile. It's great with chicken, and it's perfect in the sauce today. You know, in my rosemary... Down here in Savannah, it lasts all winter long and just thrives, yep. you know, in the spring and summer. So good. Oh, it is so good. I'm just going to chop all this right, up a little bit. there's your one cup of mayonnaise. And what do you say, son? A quarter, quarter of a cup, a cup of, of sour, sour cream. cream. Okie doke. And Excuse me. some bacon. Now, it calls for two pieces of bacon, but I'm here with my mama today, so we need four. <laughs> so I'm going to put our bacon in here, y'all, and a little bit of these reserved... Salt drink. and pepper? Do you have the salt and pepper yet? A little yet? bit of salt and pepper, Mom. Mama calls that reserve drippings. I call it flavor. <laughs> Give us a taste, Mom. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That is delicious, y'all. No. Now, the inside of these artichokes, the very, very mm. inside, we've cooked long enough that you can eat practically mm. the whole thing. So you just take your teeth. And you're going to find your mm -hmm. meat at the bottom quarter. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So you kind of strip that off. A little bit of sauce. Yum. Mm. Now, if y'all mm. want a special treat, come down to the bottom. <laughs> you and I think about the same thing at the same time. Going for the heart. Uh-huh, I'm going for the heart. Cut that stem off. Mm-hmm. Now, artichoke hearts, y'all, is the bottom section of the mm -hmm. artichoke. Mm -hmm. And this is what you can buy. So good. Heart jarred and mm -hmm. mm. they're great on a salad. Mmm. It's a lot of work to get to the artichoke heart. <laughs> Certainly. But regardless, it's worth the trip. It's worth it, y'all. Mm-mm. Yummy, Jamie. Mm. Well, now I'm really hungry, Mom. I know. Well, um, I've got... Let's move down. And we're making tuna steaks with a lemon pepper butter. This is a beautiful piece now, of... Now, Jamie's going to oil that. And these tuna steaks are about a pound each. A little salt and pepper, a little olive oil, now, I'm going to make a, like a compound butter. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> to put on top of this for when we get through. The compound butter is just going to be one stick of butter, really down to room temperature, fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a little black pepper. How much you want, Mom? A little pinch? Yeah, that's good. So, look how soft that butter was, y'all. And we need two tablespoons of lemon zest and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, Mom, we got an extra lemon down here, so I'm gonna cut it in half, y'all. This is so beautiful to do if you're working out on the grill. 
Uh -huh. I'm just gonna cut the two halves and dunk it right down in our sugar here, mm -hmm. Mom. And we'll put it on the grill and this is gonna caramelize and it looks gorgeous. It's gonna be a beautiful uh, piece on our plate, but mm -hmm. you squeeze that sugary lemon on top of this fish and uh -huh. oh my gosh. I love doing peaches and apricots, you know, that same way on the grill, y'all. It's a healthy way, oops. We're grilling everything A healthy everything way today. to just have a little something sweet at the end of the meal. So I'm gonna put these right down on the grill. Okay. Great. Now, we're gonna do a little grilled bread too, Mom? Oh yeah, because we are gonna serve this tuna on a piece of toasted bread. Of course we are. All right, now what I'm gonna do, son, is just mix this up good. And you can see it's really gotten soft. I cut this bread I'm gonna off. stick this in our refrigerator and give it a chance to kind of chill up a little bit more so it won't melt so fast on our fish. All right, so let's put our fish on and probably no more than two or three minutes per side, y'all. And we're gonna flip it once, eat and enjoy. So you can see the piece of tuna as it starts to change colors next to the grill. You don't want that tan color to get anywhere near the middle of that fish. I'm ready to eat. All right, and I'm, I think I'm ready to flip it, son. I don't want any overcooked tuna. Bread smells so good. Doesn't it smell good? Look at this. Mm, 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 Gonna be delicious. Mmm. <sighs> our lemons are like perfect. We've got our toast ready. Ooh, great time of day. Oh, mm. Even though there's no rosemary in here, I'm just gonna borrow a little piece because I just love the idea of a little something green on our plate. So pretty. I get that butterfly. All right. Okay. I mean, it, it, it maybe got a little cool sun, but not much. Mmm. Mmm. What you think? We ain't messing around here today. I mean. We're grilling inside. We got butter, caramelized lemons. Look at this. Do it. All right, now look here, y'all. You see how that tuna is still a beautiful pink color inside? That is like perfect. A little squeeze of lemon. Mm. 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 Y'all fix this for dinner tonight. <laughs> Go to is, the store. Is this not like fit for a king? This is awesome. I'm good. Oh my goodness. The flavors are so simple, but yet so intense. And the little sweetness running through that lemon is exquisite. I'm serious about eating this, y'all. I'm sorry. Listen, don't don't go anywhere. Come back. Next, we add a sweet touch to our scones. That's awesome. And then we finish them with orange cream. Yes. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. All righty, y'all. We're in the kitchen today with Jamie, and uh, we just had the most wonderful piece of tuna. Best. It was fabulous. I on cleaned that. my plate, the whole thing. I know he did. He ate every drop every of it. Really? But I'm, I'm fixing to make you a little something sweet. We're going to make some creamed scones, son. Awesome. Simple, simple, simple. So what we're going to do is measure out our flour. Tell me what to do, Mom. Okay, if you'd measure out a half a cup of sugar okay. and just put it here in my bowl. I'm gonna measure out two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Half a cup. Okie doke. Measure out a third of a cup of cream, son. Don't put it in yet because we've got to cut in our butter and our cream cheese. Now to this, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. Now what we wanna do is just whisk all those dry ingredients together. And uh, how about 
put in a little salt. I've got your salt in your chicken. Uh-huh. <laughs> in this queue, guys, everybody needs a little salt container like this in their house. <laughs> Half a teaspoon. Uh-uh. You shorted me. <laughs> So I know that I can't leave you with idle hands. <laughs> Put me to work. <laughs> so I'm going to drop I'm gonna in I'm going to start cooking more tuna if you don't, <laughs> don't keep it busy. It. So we're using a half a cup of cold chilled butter that I've got cut in little cubes. And we're going to cut this in along with our cream cheese. All right, so there's our half a cup of butter. Now I've got a three ounce package of cream cheese. And I'm gonna do the same thing with it. I'm gonna cut it into cubes and slowly drop that in for you. So you just keep cutting, son. This is a way to keep him out of trouble. Oh my gosh, was Jamie a naughty boy when he was little? There was a period when I was in the first grade. Now within, this was probably like in one summer, I got bit in the face by a dog. I was running with a stick and knocked both of my front two teeth out. I learned to ride a bike and got three stitches under my chin. I slammed my foot in the door and liked to took half of my foot off and I got poked in the eye with an umbrella. That's in about three months. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't forget, you're coming home in the back of a police oh, car. I got picked up by the police for the first time when I was in the first grade. I was throwing firecrackers at cars. <laughs> and, and the last car that I threw one at was a, a marked police car. <laughs> and as soon as he, as soon as the policeman walked up, he picked me right up by the back of my pants. <laughs> He's like, son, where do you live? And remember, mom, I was so upset. I got home, it was probably one o'clock in the afternoon. Got in my <laughs> pajamas <laughs> and got in the bed for the rest of the day. He didn't feel good. <laughs> All right, Jamie, you have got that worked up so good. Now, if you'll continue to stir, I'm going to pour in <laughs> your third of a cup of cream. <laughs> All right, if you would ball that up, son. The whole thing? Yes. And you can see where it's nice and stuck together. I'm going to put just a little flour right here. And we're just going to pat this out to about a half an inch thick. Doesn't that look pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, now let's brush the top of these with some cream. You're gonna stick something to it? Yes. You fixing to break out the bacon? No, not bacon, sugar. <laughs> All right, we've got a little turbinado sugar right here, and that cream helps that sugar to stick. It looks awesome. Okay, now here, son, take your biscuit cutter, now just dip them in the flour, then into the dough, and then lay them on the baking sheet that's lined with the parchment paper. Perfect, son. I'm telling you what. Mm. All right, so in the oven, 375, 12 minutes. These are beautiful, son. Now we've got to have a little something, something to go with them. So how does grilled strawberries and orange cream sound, son? Sounds good. We'll see y'all back in just a second. Coming up, we build our grilled sweet treat. Those are so good, y'all. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Driving home, money. The grilled strawberries really don't taste but like two seconds. So I'm gonna get started kind of quick on, on our orange cream sauce okay. that we're gonna do, Mom. Jamie's adding two tablespoons and one teaspoon of brown sugar along with one tablespoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna add one cup of sour cream while Jamie gets one tablespoon of orange zest. Now I've taken these wooden skewers and I like to use the wood ones. Um, but you're gonna have to soak them for about 30 minutes in some water or they'll catch on fire. Mom, I'm gonna do them oh, right. Oh, you're not cutting them in two? Nope, I'm gonna do them just right this way. Okay. Straight through there, we're gonna put two on there. And, and Mom, if you'll keep an eye on those, they won't take okay. for two seconds now, and I okay. want you to flip them. Well, I'm gonna do another 
skewer and I think I might just try to spread a little of this wonderful soft butter on either side and just stick those right there. All right, well, I'm going back to the oven because I will be so mad with myself if I burn these scones. They got a little brown in spots. Oh, that's all right. Oh, and they're hot as a firecracker. Load them up. Oh. All right, let's see which one do I want. These two got a little bit brown, but those will still be fine. There you go, Mom. And a little extra. There you go. Mm. Okay, you want a little bit of sauce? Yes. For my strawberries. There you go. Here. Here, I'll take this one. You take that one. All right. Now, uh, Eat it with your fingers, Mama. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put just a little butter. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's so hot, it's not gonna sit on it. Mmm. 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 Mm. The strawberries coming off the grill are so good, y'all. Oh, Jamie. Mm hmm Those are so good, y'all. I'm gonna dip my scone in a little of that orange cream. Mm hmm That sauce is so good. When you're able to do something for your company, Great like time of day. grill a salad or grill strawberries, mm. it's a real surprise. And it's even more of a surprise when you taste how good it is. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.